What's up? You're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. We're looking at the brand new record from the Wild Hearts, entitled 21st Century Love Songs. They released that on September 3rd. This is studio album number 10 for the band. It follows 2019's Renaissance Men. And the Wild Hearts are a band that I knew nothing about before I even started this review. I was feeling very uninspired by some of the other high-profile album releases from this week, especially after the Drake debacle. I don't want to go anywhere near Imagine Dragons. It was time. It was time to be adventurous, dig into some new stuff. And I've really had a lot of fun with this band. I love their style. The Wild Hearts, really, it's a combination of hard rock and punk rock with just this amazing pop influence driving these just excellent riffs, big choruses, big catchy hooks. These guys are a lot of fun to listen to. And, you know, that, that incorporation of pop into the, the hard rock kind of punk rock style can be difficult, I understand. It's hard not to think of bands like Blink-182 or Fall Out Boy, who had their moment, who have written good songs. I don't want to sit there and rag on them, but as far as as far as just the catchiness of their of their music, I compare the Wild Hearts more to a band like Against Me. If you want to get a little deeper into the punk scene, I think of maybe like the Bouncing Souls or even a Fat Records band Snuff. Uh, if they're still around, I don't even know if they're still on Fat Records, but I I just I love I love the catchiness of their music while you know still great up tempo hard rock and style and. <laughs> And their frontman, Ginger, certainly is an interesting cat to read about. This whole band is very interesting to read about since its inception, 1989 roughly, I believe. Do the math there. I think there's been 27 iterations of this band in about 32 years or something like that. So, I mean, for some reason they're going through, you know, a lineup change a year. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of booze, a lot of drugs, a lot of partying involved, I know, over the over the course of the history of this band, but it's pretty cool, actually. It looks like they've found some stability. Renaissance Men, their last record, was the first thing they actually put out in, like, roughly a decade. So it looks like, you know, Ginger's got the guys back together. They seem to have maybe found some uh, consistency with this current lineup and some stability that's, you know, aiding the, the songwriting process and, you know, keeping them in the studio. So, I, I like, I'm just, you know, I talked about the punk influence earlier and, you know, look at like, I even think of uh, a band like The Descendants as far as their ability to just do really melodic, fast-paced, hard rock and punk music that almost kind of borders on hardcore at times. And, you know, other influences they were looking at, I, I really get a big 90s, think like Stone Temple Pilots, Buck Cherry, just that kind of, you know, hard rock and vibe, whether or not you're into that is, you know, entirely up to you. But I always dug that stuff. I feel the influence in this record, and I'm loving the uh, the effect that it's having on there. And then some of this other... Like, like Motley Crue, uh, Kiss a little bit, some of that kind of like 80s, you know, call it hair metal, kind of glam rock style there as well. And it's working also. I, I think it's all very well incorporated uh, together. And the biggest thing that I'm loving about their songs is the way that they're messing with song structure. It's nothing that's too mind-blowing, but, you know, Ginger writing these songs definitely likes to change the, the tempo, uh, moving from verses to choruses. Fun things of that nature that just make these songs exciting and really enjoyable to listen to. So this thing kicks off with 21st Century Love Song. It's just got this big riff and these rolling drums that bring it in. Uh, you know, but this song is a, a pretty good example of, you know, of what you're going to get for this record and what they're doing so well on all these 10 songs. It, you know, this, it's got a fast-paced punk rock chorus. The verses kind of sound like Kiss a little bit. Really is a lot of fun. Other highlights for me, uh, Splitter is your third track. Pretty, pretty punk rock feel alluding again to those bands snuff and against me and I, and I really just think ginger's vocals i'm drawing a blank on the lead singer's name from against me but uh, i just i cannot help but hear a lot of similarities there your fifth song sleep away really loving uh, the great intro riff on this song it's got this you know all sorts of different influence on the, in the outro there's kind of this rockabilly thing going on they, they really incorporate this mod element that feels like it really feels influenced by the Beatles, a lot of this song. It's just, it's bright, it's catchy. It really highlights that that concept of incorporating pop into their hard rock style and how they do it so well. And then uh, the seventh track, uh, pardon my French here, the song title is called Sort Your Fucking Shit Out. And, uh, you know, just delivering again on uh, just good melody, good music there. Uh, and, and, you know, and Ginger's definitely a, a pretty kind of like snarky songwriter. He is not... Uh, afraid to, you know, throw the truth out there and, and his opinions about what he thinks of. Uh, he's definitely a, a little more on the liberal side of things, pretty critical of the right. And so, uh, you know, feeling that through, throughout this record. And he, and he strikes me as the type of songwriter that has been consistent with that perspective over the years. So if that's something that you've always done. 
That's just your opinion, man. I don't necessarily agree or disagree with it. I don't think it's a detriment to the music. I think that these guys are super fun to listen to, and, and especially this record. I'm really looking forward to, to going back and digging through their back catalog. So I'm going to vinyl please 21st Century Love Songs and hope that you all enjoy this record. Please like this video and share it. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the live show on September 12th, and we will see you next time on The Beat Sessions.